If you can think of the crust as a slab of rubber, and you're grabbing the rubber from the two sides and moving it past each other, if the fault itself were Teflon, the rubber would just move by and, and never be distorted. But because the fault has friction, then the rubber gets distorted and stresses are built up on that surface. So that process is very, very slow, an inch a year, and suddenly, at the time of the earthquake, a very small piece of that high friction surface is going to let go. And as it does so, it starts slipping. And in the space of a few seconds, it's, that slippage speeds up from an inch a year to 5,000 miles an hour. And that process then tears down the fault at these high speeds until it comes to a stuck patch where it can hang there for several seconds. If it's going to be a er large earthquake, it's going to burst through, speed up again to 5,000 miles an hour, and go flying into the next knot in the piece of wood, if you like, hang there, and then burst through again.